open intelligence love affair or being in the open meeting and having the best love affair happening. By open intelligence, it's, it's magical. So first, the introduction to open intelligence, it's simple as we heard because it is really who we are. And being synonymous with perfect love, we don't speak usually so much about love. <laughs> well, actually we do, but we don't say it too often because it, we have all kinds of ideas about what love is and how it has to look like. So it is a very, in a very simple way, in the Balanced View training, we use words that, that everyone can relate to. So intelligence, open intelligence is clear like sky, is vast like the sky. And it's inseparable from all our experiences and data, which are thoughts, emotions and experiences and sensations. And, and then they are inseparable, like the color blue in the sky. These metaphors are very powerful because they, we can't think our way into it. We hear them and instinctively recognize it. So when we hear like oh, the color blue is inseparable from the sky, that's what open intelligence and all data, they are inseparable. So getting that straight is really powerful because then what stops is the entire search for something about us that is looking like relief or stability. So just imagine life changing completely. And so I'm talking from my experience, my life changed completely knowing open intelligence in my experience, knowing that I don't have to rearrange, get rid of any kinds of thoughts, emotions and experience to to be happy, to find relief, to, well, just basically to find relief. And once you get that instruction and know it in your own experience, that's complete freedom. That's total freedom right at, on the spot. We'll talk about love in a moment, <laughs> but first uh, we're talking about love already. But really to be introduced to open intelligence is being introduced to perfect love, to, to an openness, to freedom in immediate perception, to the ability to connect with anyone and anything really with your, yourself and not being afraid of yourself, and to the power to be of benefit to all. Now, when I heard that question about the shower, and I was yesterday, I was also there, and um, all these answers are, are brilliant. Well, of course we can, if, if there's a shower, a hot shower, we might as well get a hot shower if we like it. But at the same time, your question also, you elaborated today more on it. This was great to hear because what I felt was the force of benefit. You want to be of great benefit and can we go to any lengths? Like, and that's what, what I see in my experience. I can go to any lengths regardless of what comes up in my own experience, to be of benefit to all. So I can take cold showers or can go through situations that I might not like or not my preferences at all, if, it, if there is um, the power to be of benefit and to be of great benefit. And that's the driving force and it has powers that is unimaginable. But if we are just used to limiting ourselves to thoughts, emotions and experiences, that's all we see. Then it's a world of limitations. Like, oh, I can't, well, I'm using now this example here, I can't take cold showers, or I don't like pain, or desire, I have to get in bed with that person. Like, you're totally distracted then, I mean, that's all you think of, like, oh, from the morning you wake up, at night probably as well, and dreams, and it's like, and, and that's not a problem though, actually, because who has not those thoughts? I mean, probably everyone here in Goa and everywhere. And so, desire, mm. <laughs> To understand that phrase correctly, you have to come to the uh, Massive Vibe Live show that we always have here in the, at Saturday evenings at the center, 
But then the big show is in Ash 27th. Then you know all about desire. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'll sing about it. They can do it even better. There are some movements with it as well. And, uh, <laughs> and then, um, so what to do with all these thoughts and emotions and experiences? It's like, wow, we are totally caged in and, 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 and lost in the descriptions when we don't know the fundamental nature and of all data, of all experience, the profound meaning of all experience, in that there is the ability to be whoever you want to be, to make decisions with discernment and power, which is really important with desire, right? I mean, otherwise you end up in mess, in a mess, in messes. It's just like, wow, just imagine if you always act on everything, and you might have done that. I mean, I've done it as well. So you just act on, or you, or you have the strategy just to, to avoid it with something else. Although with desire, I think we, we prefer to indulge it <laughs> because it, it seems so exciting. And or, or, we, or we do avoid it and meditate or how do we avoid desire? I don't remember <laughs> anymore, but, but it's just like um, it, it's, it's, um, it's, it's just a dynamic beneficial energy. Like redefining all experiences is where the power is. And I would love to talk about your, your, your question about communicating negative experiences. And then there were a couple of things that I heard there, but and possibly, yeah, I'll just share. Like, again, here, the, the way how we connect with people and, again, when you view your question in terms of how can I be of most benefit to all, and what is the what do we want with communicating negative uh, experiences and and it could be that it's very powerful to be very elaborate in in negative data like know it all and be able to communicate it in an amazing way when you have the profound meaning instinctively recognized then there is a power in communicating anything you you wish but the benefit of all is shining forth. But that has to be like, the, the bottom line has to be that the benefit of all is always inseparable. Because if we just want to share our negative thoughts and emotions to connect possibly with other people or just to find relief, that's a way that is not needed anymore because the connection is ultimately, when you recognize that, the ultimate way to connect doesn't need anything, like feeling connected with everyone to a degree that you could be in a relationship with everyone. <laughs> Not really, I mean, it's fine to have certain preferences, but it, the openness to people is profound. You might fall in love with everyone, and that is what happens when you're introduced to open intelligence, that, that openness to people is so immense that you think, wow, falling in love with everyone here and and then it's good to know what to do when desire comes up <laughs> not to act <laughs> health and skelter it's like just it just goes wild and but but um going back to your question is it's when you when you ground yourself in open intelligence then there is a freedom to use your speech in a way that is perfectly of benefit of all, to all, but that doesn't look a certain way, just always talking nice, positive things. It's actually great when you have the power to talk all kinds of things, but the piercing power of benefit will be always obvious, and that's what you ultimately want. You want to be of benefit, so you want to use your speech and your mind and your body, everything to the, for the benefit of all. And having the power to really go for it and to be able to re rest with everything in hard circumstances, with, with, with feelings and emotions that we thought we could never, like we, could, we can't take, like desire, jealousy, it's like that's sometimes so physical, like we feel like almost sick. 
And um, although I don't have jealousy. <laughs> 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 and um, <laughs> um, it's just like it's 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 so good. It's like feeling everything completely for the benefit of all. You don't have to really think that, but feeling it totally. Recognizing open intelligence, it was a short moment, they're the four mainstays. Showing up in the four mainstays is where the power is, because it redefines all labels, all descriptions, beneficial potency, and, and in that there is pure pleasure. It's like pure pleasure. Everything opens up and then you can go, you can choose a relationship and have an intimate relationship, but you'll see, you, you'll, discern, you'll discern who you're going to couple up with. If at all, you might choose not to couple up with anyone at all. But open intelligence doesn't mean that we don't go into relationships. But it is really clear that we use the clear seeing and the benefit of all is switched on, even though it's always on, but it's, more ob it's obvious, it's just on. So you see yourself be of benefit to all. Naturally so, without contrivance, it's natural, it's who we are, it's really everything about us is entirely beneficial. It's like everything. Even in the wildest thoughts and uh, horrible thoughts and emotions, and even if our speech doesn't, it, it always shines with benefit. And that perfect love, if we talk about that, now first of all, just briefly, the perfect love, I thought always it's just in my relationship, intimate relationship, that's where love is, for sure. And it, it can't be, you know, you, you love some friends and families and then you, you love some people who might have the, the good data, the cool data or the data you like, everyone else is. And so then your love is just directed to certain people and I just try to really make everything so really love and fluffy and nice in my relationship. <laughs> it's just like it's, it's a complete workout trying to get the other person to be how I think love needs to be. It, it just completely failed, even though I thought it's his fault, definitely. <laughs> it's always the man's fault. <laughs> But <laughs> and the men might say the same thing, right? Yeah. Women's fault <laughs> or men's fault. Um, but um, but it's 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 brilliant because it, it it just is a complete dead end. Even though you can be skillful in having a relationship that is good, and I mean, it was in a to a certain degree skillful without open intelligence. But but it was still another cage, and so being completely free of how the other person needs to be and it just came about with 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 relying on the four mainstays that support that confirms that power beneficial potency and redefines all data because you take responsibility for the first time maybe maybe responsibility for what you do with all these data taking a short moment rather than really plopping it on the other person always thought he has to change Definitely. And that's why the love, sparkle, fluff isn't there. And, um, and then, you know, when, when you want to, okay, Valentine's Day, you have, you, you meet up and if you're in a relationship, you want it to be the best evening. <laughs> if you're not in a relationship, you hope for a um, proposal. Is that how it is? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Nowadays it could be. <laughs> <laughs> or at least you hope for something, and, um, <laughs> and, and then if it doesn't work out, it's a complete disappointment. And in a relationship or out of a relationship, it's the same disappointment. It's just like, and, and so then to, wow, to come to a place where that all is just cut by the root, even though it might be stirring, hoping that this evening will be such a love feast, but actually we have at the center the Massive Vibe Life love affair, so it's so much more relaxing to have a date with everyone. <laughs> so good. <laughs> it's like talk completely open and, and it's included to go out with your, your um, partner. It, it's included, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's not that 
to go into any extreme. But it's really recognizing what perfect love is and I just only could see that with gaining confidence and open intelligence and truly recognizing, <laughs> well, loving everything about myself in the end it comes down to that, like all data and being letting everything be as it is in a way that that there's just nothing going on. See, then the other person can be as they are. And then also your question about then, you un then there's an understanding of real love. My relationship is so much, it's so relaxed. Sometimes I don't know anymore what is a relationship really, an intimate relationship, but it is like it, it because there's no fighting, there's no trying to get the love from the other. Because it's all, it, it's all, di and, and still it's included to talk about things. It's definitely included to talk about things if you don't like that the socks lie around or so. <laughs> Isn't that the, the typical ex example? And then, um, <laughs> Yeah, so how, how, it's a really good question about how would you let the other person be as, as they are, but then also address certain things that you do think can change. But the way how things are addressed is when each one takes responsibility for their data, or even just you do, then there, then there are solutions that come about in, and you can speak like mature adults. It's really powerful. So you see yourself you can address things and you'll just know there's no real preferences. We don't have to rest them away or say, now I have to just rest and I can't, uh, can't say anything. So the, the context is always what, what will serve for the benefit of all. So I can see that in my relationship, sometimes we talk about things, okay, that means we have to do it like this. And, uh, what is the solution here? And maybe we have to, yeah, clean up more here, mm. <laughs> all kinds of solutions. But also the key is to rest and, and you see that there's nothing going on other than beneficial potency. So it's, it's so amazing. The four mainstays confirm that, that's the four mainstays. So when you're interested in the one day training, which we have today, just the, it's the best date to go to to, rec to be introduced to open intelligence and basically to get to know the Four Mainstays, which is a, it's an algorithm. Applying it, the results are guaranteed. The results of freedom in immediate perception and perfect love.